Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm doing a mini marathon with confessions. So if this is your first time seeing this video, this is actually the second confessions for today. And there should be a video before it, right? So, and I don't know how many I'm going to do. It all depends on my mood. But these are our confessions. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who wants to come through? Obsidian, help ground the negativity, bring in positivity, but give us clarity nonetheless, right? We're not shortchanging anybody of any, ah? We just want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Who wants to talk today, Spirit? This could be you or your person. It could be friends, family, friends, foe. It could be anything that wants to come out, guys. You never know, right? Each message will resonate differently with each person because it all depends on what's going on in your life at this time, what happened in your life. Sometimes I could read a message and you can say, oh, that happened already, right? Because I've read for people before. They was like, oh, that happened last week. And then sometimes I can read for people. They'll be like, no, that didn't happen. And then next week happened. And they'll be like, oh, shit, you said last week. And then it happened next week. So it is what it is. Place yourselves, uh, man, woman, or child. Hopefully, I don't have any children on here. You should be 18 years and older. And if you're not, I'm going to spank that ass. If I find out, I'm going to spank that ass. I really prefer that you're 21 and older because sometimes I say things on this channel. <laughs> All right, guys. And with that, who's confessing? Mm, your standards are high. I had to step it up. So somebody see you in all your glory. <laughs> they see you in all your glory. Whatever it is that you do to this person, they felt the need to step it up, right? They said, I got to step it up. They said, if that's what I want, if I have to go that high, then I got to go that high, right? They said, if I have to go that high, I want to go that high. Where you want? I want to go to the moon. <laughs> this person was also taught to be unemotional. I guess somebody told him, if you're emotional, you're not a man, right? So this person was taught to be unemotional, to be a man, right? So let's, let's talk about some of these standards here. They felt like they had to step it up. Who is this and why? Why you feel like you had to step it up? What's going on with you then? They felt like they had to step it up with you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, do tell. What else? Do tell. This is a nine of coins. Maybe they felt they didn't have enough. I mean, they had the nine of coins, nine of pentacles. I guess they wanted more than that. I guess to them that wasn't enough. That's how they saw you, right? King of Cups. So because they felt like they didn't have enough money, they, they wasn't going to offer you their love. I guess they felt money and love goes hand in hand, and it doesn't, right? Money and love don't go hand in hand. Sorry, baby. I don't know where you taught that. Who taught you that? But this person always wanted to be with you. They want a union with you. They want the four wands. They see you as their twin flame, their soulmate, their yin yang. Like, they see you as this person, right? Spirit. Who taught this person how not to be? Who taught this person to be unemotional? Who taught this person not to show their feelings? Who taught this person to just hide their heart? Who taught this person to say love doesn't exist? Who taught that? Where did they get this from, Spirit? A three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody that he probably didn't see eye to eye with. Somebody that he couldn't work with. Somebody. Somebody that probably don't have any money. Three of pentacles. Somebody that probably got less money than this person. Because they had the nine pentacles. This one here is at negative three. Who taught this person this? Eight of wands. So they just want this person to just take flight and keep going on in life. But without, um, just keep going forward in life without being emotional. This person here comes with a lot of messages too. They talk a lot. Eight of wands. They talk real fast. So this person told this person that you got to be unemotional if you're going to be a man, you know. So this person talk loud saying nothing. That's that person, right? Yeah, that's that person. And this person talks a lot of shit because they're, they're the king of pentacles. So they feel that they can talk shit, I guess, because they ships came in, I guess, without giving love to other people, right? So King Dingling or Don Juan, whoever it is, or Prissy Kissy, whoever, somebody told him that, you know, You know what, just 
keep your feelings to yourself is what they told him, right? But back over here, where you're feeling unworthy and you felt that you had to step it up, so you was being two people. So over there, you're fighting with your family and your siblings, telling you to keep your, keep your emotions to yourself. But over here, you're loving on somebody. Tell us more about this over here. Why you had to step your standards up? You finally woke up to it? Because they want it they wanted to be an equal give and take. They want the situation to be balanced. Because they must see you in high regards because this is the Six of Pentacles. And this is why they want to step it up. They want to have an equal give and take with you, an equal balance. And they also feel that you fulfill them emotionally. This is not a cup. This person loves you. Like they want to step it up for you because they love you that much. They want this union with you, but they want it to be fair. Three of Cups, they want to share with you emotionally everything. Like, ooh, baby, 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 right? Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> okay? Okay, so that's what they want. This is what they want. So they're willing to step it up for this love thing, Spirit. I like that. What else, Spirit, in regards to this love thing right here? Ace of Pentacles, they know you are a gift. This is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They know you are a gift, and they, they just knew then. They didn't know how to handle such a gift. They knew they had to step it up before they could handle this gift. You are to be handled with care, right? They know this. So this person went within, and they thought about it, and they thought about how they was going to do it. They thought about how they was going to do it, because you are their wish fulfillment. And to them, they had to go, and they had to step it up. So they did, and now they're coming forward. You're their wish fulfillment. All right, spirit. Take us over here to this king of pentacles here. Why is this king of pentacles teaching this person how to be unemotional? All for, for whatever reason. It worked for a little bit, but it seems like your person done, your person grew up a little bit, right? They matured, and they're deciding on their own to come forth with this love. There's two things going on here. Tell us more about this king of pentacles, spirit. Yep, ten of pentacles. So this is family. This is something that was inbred in family, taught down. It was it was taught down. It was taught down. A lot of messages. A lot of messages. But it didn't work on this person. It worked for a little bit. But your person said, four of pentacles in reverse, and said, no. I'm tired of holding myself back from people. I'm tired of not showing my emotion to people. Your person said, no. Look, and the Queen of Swords got mad. Queen of Swords got mad. Who is that? Mommy? Mommy, did you get mad? Who is this Queen of Swords, Spirit? Queen of Swords got mad. Queen of Swords is this Page of Wands energy. It's a very immature person. Page of Wands in reverse, mind you. So that's even more, more mature. It, it, it's immature and gutter. Right? Knight of Swords, okay. So it's a few people mad. There's a Knight of Swords mad, Page of Wands mad, and Queen of Swords started off. So this could be a family thing. This was starting a family, but what happened was there was one in here that got out. One said, no, I want to be emotional, I want to be loving. And because he's the black sheep or she's the black sheep, the rest of the family don't like it. Bye, family. <laughs> right? Whatever, sheep. Yeah, two of coins in reverse. Two of pentacles in reverse. They wanted to keep your person up in their head to be an unemotional man. And he said, no. Your person said, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not juggling anymore. I'm not undecided anymore. I know exactly what I want to do now. So all that inbredness that was taught down to your person, it took them a while. It took them a while. Because sometimes you got to grow up and grow out of it. And they did. They did. They said family can't even stop this. No. But in regards to you, they stepped it up. They stepped it up because your standards are high. Skirt. Get with it, family. You got a new in-law coming in. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.